Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So what are, or what is, Substack Notes, and how do you use it, and, and you know, what's it look like, what's it like? If you're in your dashboard of your Substack page, this is the dashboard of mine, you'll come over here to this drop-down menu, and you'll click on where it says Notes. Click on that, and then it will put up, pull up this page. And you'll notice looking at it, it's very similar, I think, in a lot of ways to Twitter and the way it's designed. There are obviously some differences, but it is similar to Twitter. They, they've done some new things. Uh, you know, you have suggested writers over here on the side. This is connected to, I'm not totally sure how the, why this shows up or why these individual writers show up, but I think it's based on you know, hey, you've interacted with this writer's post before, or you've liked something similar to this before. And so you might be interested in subscribing to this because it's similar to things you've interacted with before. I think that's why that's there. So anyway, you can, on your feed, you can do home, which this is everyone using Substack Notes, whether you're subscribed to them or not. So see, I am subscribed to Tom, to Tom here. I'm not subscribed here. I could click on it and subscribe if I wanted to. So this is everyone. Everyone's feed, everything they post shows up here. Uh, you can go over to, if you just want to see the people you are subscribed to, and go through the feed that way. Now I'm only going to see the writers that I'm subscribed to. If you want to scroll through the feed of people who are subscribed to you, so you want to interact with your subscribers, this is another way to do that, is you click on My Subscribers. Now, when it comes to making a post on here, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, you can just type something, uh, hello and hello, glad to be on notes. And then you post it and it would post. You can add a picture. Um, for now, I don't think you can search Subsplash. I think your options are just limited to browsing your device, but you can add a picture. Um, you can also change to everyone can reply, or if you only want your paid subscribers to be able to reply to what you post, you can change it there, and it will be only your paying subscribers can, can reply to your note. So if you want to weed out, um, I guess you might say trolls, that would be a way to do it. And so really... You look at this, and this is notes. I've gotten several, um, I've gotten several subscribers to my Substacks through uh, notes. If you want to interact with someone else's, uh, pretty easy. You just hit a heart, and you interact with it. You can comment. You can restack it, which is essentially, if you want to think about it as retweeting it, you are going to share this on notes. You also have options. You can copy the link to what they've posted. You can share it to Twitter. You can share it to Facebook. You can see more from Tom. If you want to know more about what Tom does, the content he produces, believe that this will take you to Tom's profile. If Let's see if it will actually take me there. Well, see more from Tom. Hmm. Let's see if that's maybe that's not working. See more from Ben. It's apparently not working. Anyway, that should take you to their profile. You can mute them if you don't want to hear if maybe this is someone you, you don't like what they're saying or you, you know maybe they're just spamming. You can mute them. You can block them or you can report them. So the way that notes work, very similar to Twitter, but it's designed to be a place for Substack writers to interact together for subscribers and content creators to interact to grow within Substack. And so, I know it's pretty short and pretty simple, but that's what Substack Notes is all about. That's how you use it. So, I hope I'll see you later on down the road on Substack Notes. Have a good rest of your day.